Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zlot, and we're here today doing the Alpha 9 scenario. Okay, so wow, that planet is big. Um, yeah, we're still in orbit around Namak? Namak? Nam? Is that how you pronounce it? Namak? Namak? I don't know. Whatever. However you want to pronounce that. <laughs> but I've been going around, and as you can see, I've been... <laughs> I flew all over the place. I knew there were silicone and zascosium. At least one of each. I finally found a silicone asteroid, and I mined the crap out of that. Broke one drill. Went about halfway into the other drill. Um, so I got a lot of silicone right now. It's pretty awesome. I got, this is off one asteroid. I got uh, basically two and a half stacks and about half a stack of crushed stone. Just incidental, I guess you could call that collateral from mining the silicone asteroid. Uh, so that was the entire asteroid. I mined that out. I broke the drill, but to be fair, that drill already had... Uh, I'm not sure how much, I mean, it, it, I used it for a while before it broke. Uh, what's my other one? Oh, I can't see until I jump out. So that's fine. Um, or can I see it this way? Oh yeah, I can see it this way. Right. So you can see, I really dug into this drill's durability too. And I only got about, it looks like about, uh, two, two fifths of a drill left. What's my durability? 185 out of, yeah, so almost two-fifths. Um, so what we're going to do is my use up the rest of the drill on straight ahead. You can see I finally found a second freaking asteroid. And it's not too far. You know what? Here, let's mark the base because I didn't actually mark the base yet. But that's fine. That's easy enough. Make a permanent waypoint okay so 12 clicks out that's not too bad so I have yet to see any any drones or anything any um, Xerox bases nothing so this is only the second thing I found in in orbit now and you know what? I'm okay with that. That's fine. I don't need to, you know, have to kill 50 billion drones to get to a chunk of rock. Having a warp here is a challenge enough, right? Okay, so we're going to dig into this and... see how much of this we can gather. Oops, facing the wrong way. There we go. Okay. So I won't torture you with mining here. I'm just gonna see how quick this can this is gonna go and because the silicone wasn't too bad. But like I say, oh that's coming in pretty quick actually. Nice. Very, very nice. <laughs> that is some yummy stuff. Oh my. Most of my games and playthroughs, the real limiting factor to building has usually been Zascosium is the hardest thing to find. And uh, Pentaxi can be too, but that's not a that's not a limiting factor usually. It's it's just a challenge to find enough to get ammo um, and to warp around really. But to build stuff, I found I I found I was finding a lot of Arrestrium and not very much Zascosium in the random solar system generator stuff, right? So but that's okay. You know, I'm game with that. The 
the arrest rim is definitely needed more because it's used in a whole bunch of ammunition, whereas the Saskosium I don't think is at all. I could be wrong. Maybe it's in one or two things, but I can't really see the need to have Zascosium. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> the, the fact that, let's say, for example, on the, on the last Iron Man that I just did, I didn't find much Zascosium at all. I just, I basically found enough between wreckage and looting and and stuff to to scrape together that CV really and and that was about it and I found that to be the case with a lot of the solar the random solar system generated stuff if you have all hard settings including the hard deposit settings it was uh, it was actually a real challenge to get up enough zascosium sometimes so um yeah this is nice this is a very nice find right off the bat i mean hopefully a restroom's not going to be difficult so there we go we scooped up this little facing here i figured i'd see how quickly that little chunk would go that didn't go too bad but we did eat up a bunch of our drill now so we've got what seven seven and a half chargers or so left okay so we'll use that up there we go okay and i'm going to continue to mine this thing it's still got some more chunks on it in places up over here and stuff yeah so we'll just reposition the ship and then i'm going to bring it back and then i'll I'll meet you guys back at the base and we'll dump everything off and prep to warp to the we want to go to come on we want to go to this saint asteroid field because it's got pentaxid in in orbit I don't really care so much about the silicon and the zascosium now that we found it in the orbit here, but and then so I was looking at the orbit list, and this guy has the arrest rim. So I think uh, from from just stuff in orbit, we might be able to piece together some decent vehicles and stuff that we can take on POIs on the planets and and kind of a different approach to this playthrough i didn't really do a much poi stuff at the beginning just just the uh the initial stuff but um okay we uh will meet you back at the base and we'll continue on and warp over to that uh, asteroid field and and i'm i'm hoping to find a I'm going to go through the asteroid field because the asteroid field should be easier to find stuff in because it's a lot smaller and because it's just been a challenge around it. I, I'm not going to kid you. It was an hour and a half me flying around orbit here looking for these two freaking um, asteroids. So I just not including the time it, I spent mining the asteroid was a good other God, that took a that took a long time to mine that. Actually, that was probably an hour, because uh, I've been out here for a good two and a half plus hours now. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna mine up what's left here of my drill, and I will meet you back at the base. Okay, we are back. Uh, let's hope I can find a parking spot. So, wow, this is huge. <laughs> I love it. Okay, it's so not finished yet. <laughs> There's so much work to do on this base. This thing is just barely... I've just barely got any work done on it but that's okay what 
we're gonna do right now is just collect some resources so that we can, well, keep getting our stuff together. Uh, first of all, let's just do a quick Wi-Fi transfer over to um, the base. Where can we do this? We could either throw that in the dump. We've got lots of oxygen. That's good. Um, Cause I'm not sure if it's gonna fit in mats. Let's try. Nope. Okay, so I didn't build the mats big enough. Or I gotta make a different one. Okay, or I got too much water in there. I don't know. I don't need all these in here, really. What what I do need to do is actually get the ore. You know what? Because we've got a bunch of stacks of ore now. Oh, fine. I'll bloody well jump out. <laughs> this, we'll name this one over here. Okay, so let's call this one ore. Because this one's going to be where what's surrounding the uh, furnace, so me makes sense to me. Uh, okay, now, should we pick the garden? We should, pr we should probably pick the garden. Let's just pick the garden really quick. And get the food stuff, because I look down at my bars, I'm like, oh, we uh, should probably eat something. It's like, oh, we haven't picked the garden in a while. Okay, so let's do this. I'm going to connect to my garden. Well, actually, first we'll throw this into ore like this, and then we're going to go. Actually, we'll change this to base. We'll go mats, and that can go in there too. We still got silicone. We still got lots of silicone. Um, so we're going to be fine on silicone. We'll be able to, um, we'll be able to finish the base, no problem. But I mean, right now the problem is, the, the problem is it's class six right now. So I think what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to quickly, uh, I'm not going to publish this in this current state because it's it's got grow plots in it and it's a real pain in the ass so what i'm going to do um is i'm going to publish or i'm just going to capture it right now and uh we'll just call this our space base or space hanger let's call it the space hanger because that's really all it is it's just a big freaking space hanger Okay, so at at this point in time, I've captured it as a class six base, and I believe most um, most places will allow, like, well, actually, it'll probably even less when I pop out all the uh, grow plots. I'll prop, I'll pop out all the grow plots, um, but I'm gonna do that. I'll spawn it in in a creative mode, pop out the grow plots, because I'm not going to do that with my live base here. <laughs> Sorry, but... But at least I've captured it at a point where it's functional. Uh, it still needs a lot of work, though. But if you want a massive base start with functionality right off the bat, that, you know, with a, a constructor room that kind of works with that stuff. I mean, how how expensive is this place? Thirteen thousand stone dust, not that big of a deal. Fifteen hundred iron is nothing. Silicone, thirty one hundred, meh. That's not that great, but that's still fairly cheap for a class six base. And then uh, Neo two thirty, nothing. We're we're talking space base here, so you're gonna have these mats. If you don't have a little bit of these like these mats then what are you doing building a space base so 
this will be the state that it's published at at a class six, and then I'll be publishing it when it's uh, completed also. So, uh, yeah, I know it's not textured or anything right now, and I'll probably do that maybe and then republish it and then spawn it in, or I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I might publish it untextured. I don't know. But it does need a lot of work. It needs a lot of paint. It needs a lot of needs all the walkways done. But I as you can see, if I keep doing it before I before I capture it, it'll it'll be class seven pretty quick here. So I gotta stop. Um and we need Pentaxid really bad. All of our hopes and dreams are based on Pentaxid right now, so <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I forgot to put the, uh, <laughs> it's, it's a three-legged gimp. That's a gimp ship anyway. It's, it's getting rebuilt when I, when I get some time here, when I'm satisfied with where I'm at, but I need, I need more water. I need to go, I need, okay. I need the pentaxid so that I can go back, grab all the stuff from the snow planet again and bring it back, including another big, stack of water um, and that'll keep us going here for a long time out in space then I can then I can make forays I can build some better stuff I can you know from there we can plan it out but right now I'm I'm kind of under the the gun with the pentaxid because I really don't have much okay so let's stop gabbing here um, we want to make sure we're ready to go here. We've got fuel, oxygen, lots of that. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to pick the base. We're going to get going here. So we've got, I'm going to grab everything I can for Pentaxid. And I think on us, we have what we can sell. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Oh. That's fine. Let's, uh, oh crap. You know what? I'm gonna throw the repair bay up really quick here. It's in, do I even, I thought I had a repair bay. Didn't I have a repair bay? I thought I had a repair bay. Maybe I left it in. No? Do I not have a repair bay? Yeah, there it is. Okay, our repair station, sorry. Uh, that's fine, we're connected to that, that can handle it. And we should also get some um, a cloning station up. Um, we can leave that there. Okay, so let's... I mean, I'm just going to temporarily throw this up here right now. This is just so that we can repair our, our drills and get going. And I'll just temporarily throw that up there so that we can have this as our home spawn, uh, which I will do right now. And home spawn, so if we die, we'll spawn back here. Okay, so, wow, oh right, because we got such a huge amount of oxygen tanks <laughs> installed up there that they're going to take a lot to fill, that's okay, that's okay, we're fine, we're fine. Um, you know, we're fine for food, we're, re we're, we're fine for food, we, we don't really need anything, we can just get going, I'll just repair. Okay, so let's put this crap away. And then we'll grab our stuff that's broken. Throw it in here. Thank you very much. And oh, that's not enough charges. So we'll quickly, we'll just quickly uh, Make some charge packs. We can throw it into dump. That's fine. And mm, 
MK. Good stuff. Now, I'm not selling my laser pistols. I will be upgrading those. I, I love, love laser pistols and laser, laser rifles. Probably the best handheld weapons in the game right now, other than, um, um, you know, the epic rocket launcher. But... Had to eat some chocolate. Yummy. Okay. Hmm. Speaking of eating, so we can do that here well, before we leave. Do I not have any hamburgers made? Oh, I took them all. They're all on the ship, aren't they? Yeah. You know what? Let's eat a couple burgers. That's fine. Okay. We've got lots of O2. We've got stuff to sell. We've emptied the ship. We've fixed the thing. We need to grab our um, dump here. Let's grab our charges. That's fine. And we've got that back. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Um... Yeah, I don't think we need more O2. We don't need more O2 and because the this. Yeah, that's going to be enough. Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I'm really hoping to find a trading station there um, because I know for a fact... Okay, so... So... The reason why these are semi dynamic as I, what I mean by semi-dynamically created play fields is the play fields in this scenario, aside from the starter planets, uh, or two of the starter planets, I didn't really craft any of the planets myself by hand. What I've done is I've taken how the, the random solar system generator builds and I did that and so it's not the way you're supposed to do it because you can see when you choose your starting planet size it fixes that to the entire thing but what it allows you to do is it allows you to change your seed and have a fixed sector file and so your seed really actually changes the planets because, because they're dynamically generated play fields. Um, they're not a static play field. And where are we going here? Let me, let me keep going while I gab because I, I, I just, I'm so boring. Um, we are going to here let's go 9.8 we've got enough to do a round trip back here in case we don't find anything but we, we've got to find something we're gonna find we're gonna find it hopefully it's not guarded if it's guarded by just a drone not a big deal if it's guarded by a base or something that could be really tricky to get at. so let's cross our fingers okay and where is it? It is right there. Let's go. Okay. I like trying to find stuff in asteroid fields like this because it's it's just easier around planets like I say I I spent an hour and a half searching and only found two objects you know so was it worth the two and a half hours of well actually pretty close to three hours of searching to find those two asteroids yeah, it actually was because 
those are that's a lot of resources but but oh my god <laughs> okay wow it sure uh, it sure warped me in like miles away from the asteroid field eh okay i guess we'll slow down a bit because i don't want to this thing is not that maneuverable it's not too bad out in space without any weight in it, but I don't want to get into a dogfight. The uh, space drones are way more maneuverable than me. Okay, what we're looking for is any sort of resource asteroid pretty much well we're looking for anything anything other than a freaking rock okay getting deep into it now okay, I'm just gonna settle down and take a look around for a second because sometimes you can get caught off guard by a large vessel or something see like that what the hell's that what was that I saw a red flash on my screen. We gotta go. Okay, let's let's head over this direction. Cause whatever that was was red. I really want to find the trading station. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly around and look for stuff. When I find something, I'll come grab you. Okay, we're back. We have some sort of weird... I mean, when I go into the map, it says it's Space Drone Laser, but it doesn't seem to be moving. Looks, I don't know what it is. Crap. Okay. Apparently it was a space drone. And oh no, I'm hostile with the Xerox now. So it was, oh, it's just parked on that asteroid. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, buddy. I th think I just wrecked his coffee break. God, I'm all full because I. Yeah. Okay, let's deal with that. I don't need to have all this on me. Just gotta remember to grab it if we find a space base. Or a. Um, Trading station. Okay, so... Hmm. Well, that was a sitting duck. He just let me shoot him. Uh, that was not spectacular in any way, shape, and form. And that is the only thing I've found so far. <sighs> I'm... Kind of wondering if anything actually really spawned in here because I have 
I'm getting a little bit of worried that stuff didn't spawn in here correctly. Okay, well, I'm going to continue to look, and I will come grab you if I find anything. <laughs> or if I don't. Either way, I'll come grab you eventually. <laughs> okay, I didn't take long. Um, I decided I, I was going to leave the Astro Foil and circle around the outside of the Astro Foil, so I literally just beeline for the closest <laughs> edge of the asteroid field, came out of the asteroid field, and boom, there's two things like right away as soon as I come out of the asteroid field. So I don't know what these are. Uh, that looks like a pentaxid asteroid though, so that's pretty exciting, but I don't know what this is. It could be friend, it could be foe. Let's just creep up on it here. Because there is a drone base I just uh, don't know if this is it or not. Oh, it's blue. Oh, look at that. I got the blue chevrons. That means it's a trading station. Oh, oh, I'm all excited. And that Pentaxid is pretty excited too. Oh man, the, okay, boom, boom, unguarded. Is that actually an unguarded pentaxid? Oh my god. And... Trading station. Sweet. Okay. Huh. Not sure if I've ever been to this one before. Let's level out. See... Okay. So it's... That's interesting. Oh yeah, I've been to this one before. This is, um, this is kind of, this is actually a POI from, this is a POI from that, uh, uh, scenario, the, um, Shadows of Starlight that they've modified into a trading station. They've re they've repurp whoop whoa 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 that keep forgetting my upward thrust is like nuclear compared to everything else. Like that was literally I couldn't even that was just the least amount I could hit the button. <laughs> Okay, let's level off. Um, well, realistically, I mean... Although it's high radiation in this... In this one, isn't it? That's okay, we'll, we'll just go right in. Okay, so what we need to do is... Let's get our stuff that we want to sell. We want to sell that and that and that and they're not going to buy those. They might buy that and that. They're not going to buy that. That and that and that and that. I hope so. You know what? Maybe they'll buy that. I don't think they'll buy these though. Regular pulse and regular assault. I don't think so. We'll take a look. And who knows if they even have the correct trader in here. This is some severe radiation. Hey guys, so who sells what here? Uh, bandages, health pack. Nice. Okay, I don't have a lot of money right now. I need to sell some stuff, so... Where's somebody that'll buy my crap that I got? Hmm? I'm looking to sell my crap. Who's gonna buy it? Oh, here, let's just... <laughs> what does this do? <laughs> Boom! 
the car blows up. Oh, you are now unfriendly and get killed. Okay, I don't think I should screw with their switches. <laughs> uh, there's nobody. Yeah, you didn't see me. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Wasn't me. Wasn't me. Mining Corp. Oh, what does he got? Oh, here we go. So, he'll buy, he'll buy the oxygen tank boost. That was nice. That was a nice chunk of change. Uh, he'll buy EVAs. Okay, that's good to know. So, he's the guy with the refined pentaxid. So, we want it all if we can. I don't think we got enough money, though. No. Okay, let's. We could sell our drill charges for for nine a piece. No, we could sell the drills for three a piece. But I don't want those right now. I need to go mine the pentaxid. You know what? We're gonna get a ton of pentaxid, I think, from that asteroid. So maybe, maybe we should buy. You know, like heavy armor or something if we can. So let's see what else we've got here. Really? Wow, this place sucks. That's it. This guy, the other guy, and that's it? You gotta be kidding me, right? Okay, I'll take your free oxygen though. It's good to know they got some free repair. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's, that's kind of weird. Okay, so right here. Is there another door? No. To that is okay so that was kind of a bust that wasn't that great and what are you serious I can't get in because yeah <laughs> okay uh, yeah that's fine I don't need I don't need him we sold we we know where we can buy some. Okay, so where was that? That was... That was over here. Come on, where were ya? Let's see, so I came out. I should have marked it when I had it in my sights there. Stupid. Okay, so I came out. I remember it was kind of like the... Camo, and there it is, there it is, okay, there it is. Okay, exciting. Exciting. This is going to be huge for us. Pretty much un, unguarded. Okay, well, I'm going to mine this entire thing. I'm going to mine the whole thing. And, well, let's, let's see what it's like 
We'll we'll start it off here. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah, put my jetpack back on, and that's why you always wear an EVA boost when you're out in space, so that you don't derp like that and die. Hmm. Radiation. So let's sink back in a bit here, where we're protected. We'll spawn our drone, and so we're we're fine now inside the ship. Okay. Okay, so let's, um, what are we connected to? We're connected to, okay, so we're still connected to something. This one. Okay. Okay, let's give it a shot. Uh, oh. I guess I gotta put one back on my toolbar here. It's fine. Do a little bit, then I'll uh, I'll cut. We'll see how much we get just off the initial little bit. Well, it looks like it's coming in pretty quick. I think we've already accumulated more than we ever had before. these little we'll get this little chunk here and then uh, we'll take a look to see how much that is then I'll then I'll probably uh, call it an episode here because we, we we're pretty successful I think at this point even though that the um, the trading station not so much not so much but it's not really a full-blown trading station hopefully we can find a better one and there are uh, some specific playfield sectors that are just tra that are just stations. So I'm I'm thinking they're going to be like big giant um, trading stations. So we we need to find those, and the only way to do that is by warping around, and the only to, way to do that is by having pentaxid. So yay, pentaxid! Yeah, this is huge. This is the cornerstone of, of my plan to dominate the galaxy. Really, it is. Without this, we can't go anywhere. We, we can't leave a sector. Period. Okay. I know I know this is boring mining but we're just this is a large node on this one here this okay I don't think I'm gonna subject you guys to the entire mining of this one node it, it it's actually bigger than I thought it was <laughs> you can see the size of the ship comparatively I mean if this was on a planet I'd already have a huge hole dug really Okay, let's let's see what we got so far. 101. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> awesome. So that's like 202 refined. So good. Uh, I'm going to finish mining this and then I'm going to finish going around the um, asteroid field. So yeah, I'm going to call it an episode here. If I do find something other than another Fintaxid or something uh, that I that I feel you guys should see, then I'll then I'll start up another episode, I guess, at that point. But until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day.